just levitate Hey guys, check it out, we got the SH Monster Hours Mega King Ghidorah from Gojira vs King Ghidorah and it's looking pretty darn cool here you can see from the front the wings of course uh, the metallic head because hey this Ghidorah got his ass kicked last time so now it's back for revenge and of course they made it into a mecha version it even has like knee pads and chain guards you can see the double tails there looking pretty darn cool here you can see it from the side and you can see that the detailing for the wings is pretty nice it kind of has like a fabric look to it on the inside of the wings and the outside of course the metallic you can even see the detailing um for that metal chest plate on the freaking side which is pretty awesome and of course the detailing of Gidra, right? you know you got the golden dragon with all the scales that looks pretty awesome the articulated tail as well and here you can see it from the back and that metallic head and neck didn't get you know they, they didn't sweep it under the rug they went all out there with the spines on the back you can see the back of the wings also have detailing on them that back area as well man it's looking great and check out all the segmentations that the tails have and i love that the tails actually have the, the claws there so that is pretty awesome here you can see it with them you know just showing you that hey you can have damaged wings on them which is pretty cool it's true that they only did the middle ones on the left and the other ones they did middle and one on the bottom which is very interesting but you can also have it with a mouth open or closed the head looking one way the other head looking the other way just awesome i love that option that they give you here you can see a little bit more of an extreme pose remember you don't rather saying have any arms so all the really dynamic poses you're gonna be you doing them with the head and the tails and a little bit of the legs here and there but this pose here is looking pretty cool again the detailing on the mecha head is looking great and here you can see all the little grabby claws there which is pretty awesome and hopefully it does come with that stand because if it doesn't man you're screwed <laughs> you're screwed you're not gonna be able to display it like this check it out it has one two that big claw three four so yeah that's quite a few claws there which look awesome that is pretty awesome and everything's coming out of the body so that is gonna be cool obviously you're just gonna open the panels up and you're just gonna stick them there it's gonna look like that and here you can see a flying which looks cool i that they did the flying with the damaged wings i wasn't expecting them to do that but they did pretty awesome and man i have to say this kidorai is really something it's really amazing but hey it's gonna be really darn expensive that's the thing that's gonna be expensive and yeah if you're a big Godzilla fan you probably might want to pick this up premium bandai exclusive so i will leave you guys there and let's keep moving on to our next figure Okay, we got the robot Damachi Woodward, and as you can see there, this is the die cast body that they're using on it. Um, you can see that it's everything's gonna be for the frame, so don't worry about. You're not gonna see. Looks like it. You're not gonna see any metal parts outside. It's just a little sad, but it's normally how they make them. Um, here you can see it in its full glory. Thick, of course. I love this Gundam, and I love that they kept the red fingertips. I love that you can see from the back looking good with that giant cannon that big booty on the back looking great so it's gonna be pretty well articulated you can see it here uh, you're gonna do some beautiful poses with it i mean this gundam is beautiful honestly check it out there and here it also has the claw so that's pretty nice that it has it you can see the articulated arm and the cable and the claw that is so nice and 
one, you can see that it has the fangs on the legs there, but you can also tell that the legs um, look a little bit different, right? Yeah, that's because of this. It actually transforms. It's just pretty awesome. This is the front. Um, the side, this is pretty awesome that they actually get the transformation. So I love it. I like the idea. Man, I need a master grill this guy, honestly. That's what I need, but it looks awesome. So let's move on. Okay, so we got the high grade 144 scale GM Spartan. The GM Spartan here looking pretty nice. It's, it was actually one of the monthly Bandai Mercury making journals all the way back in 1989. So that is very interesting. And the thing is that if you don't like green, you're probably not gonna like this guy because there's a lot of green. I love the whole military look to it. The weapon looks great. Visor, the antenna. This guy is look, looks ready to for action. Check it out here from the front and the back. I love how it has the knife on the backpack. The uh, verniers look good. Man, it, it just is something really pleasing about this guy, you know, for the colors because you can have it. It's completely green, but you have a few shades here and there, but you also have a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue. It really makes it stand out. And I really like that the back of the feet have panel lining areas, which is pretty nice. I like that design back there. And here you can see it with this beam rifle or beam gatling gun. I love that the scope has a little bit of red there, which looks great. Ooh, looking great. Here you can see it with the knife, which is pretty awesome that it has a Rambo knife pretty much. That's so cool. And it also has the bean saber. So that is pretty awesome. And the bean saber is actually attached to the forearm. So that's a really cool idea. So you can display it with the bean saber it's on or off on the forearm or just holding it in the hands. Or maybe you want to have it, you you know uh, bean saber and knife in one hand as well because it does look like it has another rack on the shoulder pad that has um, some other stuff maybe more bean sabers would be pretty cool um here you can see a little bit more detailing the bottom the feet all that panic lining area you also get to see this part for backpack that goes up and down and of course the back of the skirts there looking nice and here's everything you're gonna be getting you get two bean saber blades of course you get the bean rifle or bean cattling done whatever you want to call it to get the bean savers and as you can see there so yeah the bean savers on the rack were actual bean savers but you only get two blades sadly which came with all four of them that would be pretty cool here you have the chief for the knife and five different hands as you can see there two pairs and one open hand for the left hand they should have included an open hand for the right and here's a closer look at the beam gatling gun you can see how it actually is able to store or an extra cartridge there or you can just have it with just one and close it up pretty cool that's pretty awesome so yeah that does it guys that does it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time